Dying Light 2, a brand new patch. Was that 1.5.0? Something, something, something. All right, so here's the setup. Almost every single time I convert a previous, previously saved game into a new patch build, um, things usually go to absolute shit. It's been a while since I played Dying Light 2, and this is a what you see, what you get. What you see is what you get. First impressions, right? We're gonna do that. We've always done that on this channel. I do not edit anything. So we're gonna convert. This is probably gonna suck. I just know it, but I have my save file backed up on a, on a thumb drive. Cause usually what happens um, once, once a, a, a patch trashes my save file I'll go back and start the game over again I have I probably started this game almost a dozen times now over and over and over again uh, if this if it's if it's crap it's crap I don't know but yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, this patch is, it's, it's doing this, it's doing that. Techland's bringing it back to the, to, you know, the E, the E3, um, version of the game, slowly but surely. There's supposed to be more zombies on the ground. They're finally making interiors during the daytime, uh, more dangerous like they did, um, with the original build of the game. Because, I mean, I remember playing this when it first came out. The uh, interiors were incredibly dangerous during the day, and then over time they just turned into a cakewalk. All right. Okay. It's nighttime. Okay. Where are we? It's been so long since I played this game, I don't even know where the heck we are. Well, how how can we? S Catch you stealing, you lose a hand, pal. Okay. No how do you? How do you? Uh. Strict laws. You're siding with the enemy, pilgrim. Some okay. I, I'm assuming there was no gray gray faces. I'm just gonna assume that. Ah, <laughs> I, I saw that, Missy. <sighs> I saw that. I, I saw that. Um, okay, maybe that was a little, that was pretty fluid. She responded pretty good to, um, oh, did you hear that? Oh! Oh, really? Oh, ho, ho, ho. they heard that, huh? Oh, that's badass. Okay, so they heard me take that sound. What is it, like a hive mind to take one down at night and they all hear it? Um, that's dangerous. Okay, I like that. Okay. Um. Alright. I don't see any zombies. Where's all the zombies? I thought there was supposed to be more zombies out here. During the night time. Um, how do you how do you paraglide again? I have no idea. Let's go that way. Okay, yeah, that's how you paraglide. Yeah, and that's um to give you more air as you paraglide. Um uh, did they get rid of the howlers? No, they didn't get rid of the howlers. Are they- aren't they supposed to be, like, more, um... Okay. Drop kicking seems, um... Last time I played this, drop kicking worked only half the time. Half the time it wouldn't work. What happens if we just kind of... Okay. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that's good. Alright. Um... 
Did you see that? I should have got totally busted. There should have been there shouldn't there have been a chase called on me? Whoa! How do you um Oh that's right, you that's how you back away. Okay. okay, yeah, last time drop kicks didn't work as well as they should have. You boys getting a golden shower up there, huh? <laughs> that's funny. Alright, alright. Oh, look at this thing going buck wild on us. Going buck wild. Okay, now we got a chase start now. Woo! Are you boys. Oh, that was an insta death. Nice. I like that. That was good. Yeah. No more cat footing around for us, eh, kids? All right, let's go over by, um, fast travels work. Where's the, um, um, can, oh, did I, oh, look at that. I, I could have sworn I had, um, I had unlocked that. Did I not? I didn't unlock that. Really? Let's see what happens when we fast travel at night. First impressions, it's, well, we just, we, we loaded in, like, in the middle of the night. So, kind of hard to see. <laughs> Alright, drop kicking is still working. How many drop, I I'm, I'm just want to test the drop kicks, because they're toward, uh, they're toward my last playthrough with that one patch. It seemed like drop kicks only work half the time. And I'm not really what you call a drop kick kind of person, but it seems to me that if I need to use it, I would like it to work more times than not. Okay, two. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. Ooh. Get off me! Get off me! Ooh. All right. Tell you. Good. Very nice. Um. How about daytime? He's in the old days. What's it look like in here? People loading in? No. Wait. A minute. Those people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like a split second loaded. It was like, oh shit, here she comes. We gotta load in real quick, guys. <laughs> I'll have to run the footage back, but. That's uh, that was well. I guess that was pretty fast. That was funny. I, I don't know. Again, I, I'd have to run the footage back, but I could have sworn like everybody just sort of loaded in right at all at once. What do you got for sale, sir? Same stuff. Same shit, just different day. Okay. I heard they're, they're they're thinking about bringing guns back into this game. Um, I'm not I'm not making any promises, but if I were to continue playing this game, um, I I wouldn't fool with guns. I mean, I don't even have the crossbow gun. Uh, yeah, you could technically get one of those, and uh, basically it works like a gun, but I don't fool with that. Uh, I have my bow. That's all I really need, right? My stuff is still there. Okay. Alright. Uh, gotcha. Container detected. 
Alright, so what am I supposed to be doing here? Meet Jack and Juan at the fisheye. Why? Why would I? I can't remember. What, what, what am I supposed to be doing here? Okay. Wow, I actually... So, the last time I was playing this game, I actually, um... I've never seen someone botch a job so badly in my life. I thought I could trust them. You couldn't have spoken I made it that far in the story again. In game plus mode, really? Well, Jack and Juan are just gonna have to wait, alright? I want to have a look around. I want to do my usual look around. I want to. I want to find some human enemies. Um, did they say they were supposed to be doing something with the lighting of this game to where it wouldn't look so Disney, Disney bright? That's what I call it anyway. Like the. Almost like a Disney lighting <laughs> effect. It's like you expect to see like Belle and Snow White popping out of the store over there. Oh, isn't it amazing? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> um, are there any baddies? Uh, there is a. Okay, so there's some kind of random event over there. Why do I feel so floaty? It's probably because I played a little bit of the first game and I got used I got used to the um the parkour of, of the first game again. And now I'm relearning. Oh, I thought <laughs> You were saying? Oh my Okay. All right, so that's new. Like any any noise you make on the oh my, any noise you make on the streets now, very nice. That's good. That's really good. Oh wow, that's really nice. Nice touch. Any disturbance you cause, so you have to think very carefully. Do I want to engage on the open streets or not? Because if I do. Even just a slight ruckus is gonna bring oh, is gonna bring unwanted attention. Okay, that's very cool. Yeah, so you guys that like to throw dynamites and uh, and grenades around, huh? You're gonna have to think long and hard about that one. Whoa! Am I? That feels different. Why? Hmm. Okay, I'm not complaining. All right, I don't know what to say about this new patch, guys. It's not bad. It didn't trash my save file, so far as as far as I could tell. I mean, we we've seen some shit, haven't we, guys? We have seen some shit. Um, this is not the worst it's ever been. Okay, so I have I have the central loop unlocked. So let's go there. Let's go to the central loop, shall we? All right. Yeah, I usually like to start off every game in the, um... No, I can't go there. Alright, let's go to downtown and we'll just make our way over to the fish eye, right? Let's have a looky-loo, shall we? So yeah, the idea is... Well, that was a pretty good... That was a pretty fast load-in. What's in here? Crystal dust. That's new. What's that for? Alright, color me intrigued. Alright, see a little bit of screen tearing there. Not surprised. I'll take a little bit of screen tearing. I will. Just don't don't be a buggy mess. Seriously, I'll, I can live with a little screen tearing. 
All right. I'm not asking for much. I'm just asking for a stable experience. From my homies playing this game on, on PS4. Is that a little pop in there? Alright, so we gotta go to the fish eye. Let's go to the fish eye. Let's have a look here. What was that? All right, whatever. Something feels a little different with the parkour. It's not bad. What about when we're when we're up close to it? No. Oh. Oh, whatever. I don't. That doesn't even bother me. I'm looking for other issues. That's not an issue. It's not an issue to freak out about, get mad about. I'm looking for very significant. Immersion breaking crap. Screen tearing, maybe some weird lighting effects here and there. That's, that's not my problem. It's never been my problem. So, uh, hang on, son. Mom's checking out this train wreck of a game. So far, the load-in was good. It wasn't bad at all. Uh, said there was supposed to be more zombies on the streets. I don't know how I feel about that because the slightest... Oh, there was a little bit of a frame rate drop there. Even that's not going to bother me. Thank you, darling. Thank you so much. Aw, you're the sweetest. My son just brought my lunch in to me. Isn't he a doll? He is. He's a doll, baby. <laughs> All right, him grabbing onto that hook. That's good. Children, who stopped those monsters? Watch yourself, you hear? I don't have to be stronger than the infected. All right, so first impressions, it hasn't completely trashed my save file. As far as I could tell. But then this could all come unglued pretty fast. Oh, uh, yeah, screen tearing. Ah, not a big deal. Not the worst I've ever seen. Uh, th it does. Something feels different about this parkour system. I can't put my finger on it. I can't tell. I can't. I don't know if it feels more floaty or if it feels more grounded. I'm undecided. I, I don't know. Again, that's probably just because I've been playing uh, the first game. Or I have played the first game. Anyway, um, what was that? Anyway, um, alright, so. I don't know, guys. Um,. I think uh, making the zombies more aggressive was a really good idea. Uh, that is something that the game needs. You know, you it can't be a cakewalk all the time, right, guys? Yeah, you, it's got to it's got to have some some challenge to it. Sometime, uh, we're stuck here. They said there's uh, volatiles in the interiors now. Is that true? What is that? Investigate. I don't know if I want to. What if there's something really bad here? It wants to eat me. I don't see anything walking around like a volatile. That's probably just like the stores and stuff. It's probably not these interiors. Nah, I don't think there's any volatiles here. <laughs> anyway, okay, so this is what it looks like on a PS4, guys. The new patch, anyway, right? 
Um, the slightest noise you make on the streets is going to... Uh, I guess the zombies are a lot more sensitive to noise now. That's a nice touch. It's a very nice touch. Um, maybe I'll do some footage of uh, the VNC tower. Because um, that would be a really good way to, to measure the performance of the game when um, you're in like like a serious story beat pretty intense story beat okay so yeah Far Cry Zombie Edition <laughs> um, so far not bad Not bad. It's um, it's not the worst it's ever been so far, right? My first impressions are that it's um, it doesn't appear like it's messed up my game file, <laughs> so that's that's a perk. Uh, I didn't really find a whole lot of human enemies just yet. There should be, I, I would assume there'd be encounters popping up all over. The well. I spoke too soon. There's an encounter. What do we got? What is that? Let's find out. Oh, here we go. Can I... Where's my doohickey? Here we go. Okay. Alright. Oh. Uh, Gotta get used to this. Alright. Alright. Let's go, Tom. Oh, that was my bad. I did that. I'm in oh, my gosh! Oh! I'm trying to remember how to do this. You gonna go psycho on me? He... Oh, look at him. Oh, he's giving up. What is this gas stuff? I don't get it. What is this? Is that... Oh! Ooh, I'm surrounded by baddies. This is good. Um, am I gonna be able to heal myself? Tom? Okay, combat feels good. I didn't catch any um, stuttering or anything like that. Uh, just some textures. Okay, so yeah, it's it's still a little janky as far as like um, you know textures and lighting and. Uh, but hey, at, at least the uh, at least the the. Um, the renegades respond to you, right? They don't just stand around smoking a cigarette, you know? Now oh, there's another... There was another stutter there. Um, but it, it's... It's just... It's whatever. I don't, I don't see where this is like, this is, you know, this is, oh, this is just what the game, you know, the usual rhetoric out of the fanboy, oh, this is just what the game needed, the game is getting, it's getting back on track, yeah, just knock it off with that, stop it, you're embarrassing yourself. Uh, yeah, so this patch is a meh for me, it's not terrible yet. And I do mean yet. Escape. Yeah. That right there. Like the... Uh, that. Yeah. That. Um, the stuttering is just... Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Coming back to this game after playing... I put like 62, 62 hours into uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I mean... And then coming back to this. It uh, feels weird. Uh, I can't say this patch has done anything great 
for the um, the visual integrity of the game. I'm noticing a lot more stutterings than I have before. Uh, but yeah, after 62 hours of playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, like looking at that majestic eye candy of a game, scaling everything and anything I want to scale, like just climbing and jumping around and walking through busy streets of, of ancient cities and coming back to this. Uh, it's not terrible, but believe me. This isn't terrible. I'm not going to say this is terrible, but... It's not as great as it could be either. What's it, what? Yeah, yeah. I, I've seen it. I, we've seen it in worse shape, haven't we, guys? Um, okay, so the new patch. What is it? One point five. Um, not bad. I've seen I've seen this game in way worse, in a way worse state. Um, I don't think I'm going to be playing any more of this after this video. I just wanted to come on here and uh, put in my two cents with the latest patch. Nothing really intrigues me about this game right now. Uh, no, I will not be purchasing the DLC. Once again, I'm saving my money up for the Callisto Protocol and Dead Island 2. Oh my gosh. I don't want to get excited, but I'm kind of excited about Dead Island 2. Did you guys see that? Did you see the new trailer for that? Procedurally generated gore? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh, but yeah, much like Saints Row, I'm um, just gonna hang back and have a, you know, wait for other people's, like, first impressions of the game before, uh, before I decide to make any decisions on that. I have to remember how to do that. Uh, what was- why did I do that? I have no idea. Yeah, you can tell how well I, I pay attention to this game. There we go. I have to remember- oh, that's right, that's how you do it. So. Woo! Okay, we're draw we're attracting attention. Okay, so yeah, the combat is more engaging, and there's a lot more at stake at stake when it comes to engaging enemies. Okay, drop kick's still working good. Okay, good. Um, didn't quite work that time. That was me though. That wasn't the game. But yeah, like C Callisto Protocols, looking like it's gonna yeah. Looks oh, geez, the stuttering, the stuttering. Uh. Again, it's really hard to it's really hard to um, come back to a game like this after playing something like close to um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. You know, a game that actually knows how to use use the capabilities of the PlayStation 4. You say what you want about um, say what you want about uh, Assassin's Creed being bloated with too much stuff to do. Um, at least that game, uh, when they developed it for the PS4, at least, you know, they knew how to use the capabilities of the PS4. They they didn't forget how to use the capabilities of the PlayStation 4 just because PS5 came out, right? Yeah, they remembered how to, how to work with that particular console, so... And it shows. We'll see how Deep Silver, um, what, uh, what Deep Silver's latest baby's gonna do for them because, oh my gosh, Saints Row did not hit it, did it? Saints Row did not, so far it's not really, it's not really, um, impressing anyone. Um, me and Little Mama were thinking about getting Saints Row. And we were like, no, nah, let's just kind of hang back a little bit. And uh, so glad we did not pre-order that. We're not going to be pre-ordering pre-ordering Dead Island 2 or um, 
Well, I probably will pre-order the Callisto Protocol because I'm glutton for punishment. Uh, but yeah, we're... <laughs> Uh, I, I think it's, I don't know if it's on purpose or if it's just a thing, but I can't help but notice that Dead Island 2 is releasing in the same month that this game released. Is that kind of a tongue-in-cheek jab at Techland? I don't know. Be like, oh, we're releasing our game February 2. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, this uh, this latest patch is just kind of a meh for me, but overall, the, the whole game is just a meh for me now. I can't really I can't really say much other than that. Anyway, all right. So, you guys got to see my first impression of the patch. We loaded in. You got to see it in real time with me. This isn't the worst I've ever seen the game, but it's not the best I've ever seen this game. Uh, we saw some stuttering issues. We saw some weird lighting pop-ins and maybe maybe some objects and, and textures popping in in very weird place uh, moments I guess um, honestly even if I was playing this on a PS5 I, I'm I, I don't know guys I feel like I'm just kind of like burned out with this game uh, so yeah with that said I hope um, if you are enjoying this game, I hope that it's continuing to entertain you, and um, hopefully the new story DLC that they're coming out with um, does not fail to enter. Oh my gosh, that's bad. Does not fail to entertain you guys. I hope it's not a ripoff. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you are enjoying this game. I, on the other, I'm just kind of burned out. I'm really burned out. I, I can feel it in my bones, you know? But anyway, alright, so I checked out the new patch. You guys got to see it. It's just a meh, to be honest. Uh, more aggressive zombies. Yeah, the game would kind of needed that, right? It, it did. It kind of needed more aggressive zombies. So that's good to see. You're going to have to be more calculating if you're going to move through this world. And uh, that's that's not a bad thing. Anyway, that's, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's all I got for now. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening, and uh, I will catch you on the flip side. I'm going to go back to playing something else. Yeah. <laughs>